To understand induction of labour, we need to first get to grips with what labour actually is. In most pregnancies, labour starts naturally between 37 and 42 weeks, only 4% of babies being born on their due date. At first, you may experience irregular, painful contractions. These contractions often stop and start. This is called early labour or the latent phase. This is when the neck of the womb or cervix starts to become softer and shorter and may take several days, particularly in first-time mums. Although contractions may be uncomfortable, it is not considered active labour. Active labour is when you are experiencing regular painful contractions and have reached 4 centimetres dilated. Contractions are painful enough to take your breath away or make you stop what you are doing and stay still. You can see that the cervix has become much shorter and has thinned. When you have an examination, the top of the baby's head can be felt. As labour continues, the cervix dilates to 10 centimetres and baby's head comes down in your pelvis. This is when your cervix can no longer be felt around the baby's head. This is called the second stage of labour and signals the time that you can start pushing. We prefer for labour to start naturally. However, we offer induction of labour when we feel that the benefits of waiting for natural labour are outweighed by the potential risks to you and your baby. The recommendation to induce labour is not made lightly and should be fully discussed with you so that you can make an informed decision.